So this centre is different from you going to a police station to report, correct? Yes. The, the going to police station to report um, is also linked in some way. Um, when a victim goes to the police station to report, the victim wants the police to investigate and probably deal with the offender. But at the same time, that victim has suffered some, um, some injury in some way, either physical or mental, that suffered some injury. That, the, the kind of support that will comfort that particular individual who has suffered some injury is what we provide. Mm -hmm. We just want to make sure that that person who has suffered has come back to normal and then our job is done. But at the same time, it doesn't mean that the offender should go free. So that's what we do. Okay. Is this a permanent center? For all intents and purposes, because this place actually belongs to government. So it's a government place. So it's, 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 we can say it's permanent, but really I still see, um, I envision a situation whereby we have to move to a bigger place that will be able to um, take care of um, all of the cases that we have in the country. Because right now, from, I mean, answering one of the questions you've asked before, we have, we have seen cases going up now. So, and with adequate publicity, which we are embarking on, um, in, the, in the course of time, we expect that um, we have many cases being reported. And when, when people see that there is um, something is going to happen, when people see that they are going to get support, mm. they, are going to be, they are going to be reporting. And permit me just, let me just indulge me to just make one, uh, one thing clear. The cases of gender-based violence that we have in the country are huge, much more huge than we can imagine. And I'll give you an example from Ghana Health Service. The statistics that we have from Ghana Health Service shows that uh, in last year, 2020, during COVID, we had cases 109,888 cases of teenage pregnancy in Ghana. 109, eight, that's more than 100,000. And meanwhile, the cases of um, COVID-19 that we have in the country is not even up to 100,000. It's very close to 100. So, and all, most of those cases, you can iterate that they took place as a result of gender-based violence. Why? Any child that is below 16 is not, has not yet attained the age of consent. So anybody that is 16 or below who gets pregnant was actually raped. So if that person was raped, nobody has reported. The parents have not reported. The child that was raped has not reported. Even neighbors around have not reported. So there are so many unreported cases of gender-based violence that is going on, and that's what we want to get people to report as a way of stopping, I mean, or eliminating a gender because we want to bring it to zero. So when people see that they get support, they will report more. When they report, it also helps government to formulate policies and put things in place to ensure that um, we eradicate this malaise in our society. Mm -hmm. Just before I get talking to the team members, yeah. uh, so if an incident happens, do I call you first or 800-111-222 or I call the police or I walk to a police station? I would suggest that you should call 0800-111-222 because once it happens, first you get double barrel. So to say, you get support and at the end, of, and at the same time, we also, let the, uh, we also uh, make sure that um, the police are called so that they can go after the offender. So, uh